So I decided to run through each and every wire on here. So let me lock, walk you through this. I'm gonna walk you through this a little bit. Keep in mind, this new wiring harness has one extra wire than the old one, MS-45. MS-43 has one extra one. I believe it is this one. Um, I might be wrong about this and this plugs in somewhere and I just don't have the connector, but I counted all of them and it does have one extra one as long as I counted right. And I believe it's this one. So what kind of wiring do we have? You have four underneath this section of the wiring harness. One of them splits into two grounds right here. So that's one. Second one goes all the way down, way down there to the, I believe it's the um, oil pan right here. And then you have, so that's one, two. <laughs> Let's count number three goes way under here. Um, I can only see it because I took off the exhaust canister controller thing that is now sitting right here. It does not do anything anymore because none of the other hardware is plugged in. So that's three. Number four will eventually go back onto your throttle body. So that's four. Following this, there are two plugs. I believe the first one on this new MS-43 is the one I've mentioned. It does not go anywhere. Then the next one is the um, injector harness, which um, you'll need to buy this new injector, uh, which will plug into the top of your intake manifold. Um, I will show you that in a second. Uh, this one plugs in right here. So this one plugs in to this cap, which I will need to remove. I believe it just unscrews with the Torx bit. Um, I'll get around to that eventually. All right, so we've covered the other underside of the harness as well as these two wires and the ones connected to it. So this top one will go to the actual intake or sorry, this will actually go to the Diesel valve, which I have sitting here with a kit that I'm going to use to, put, to repair this flap because it is broken. It is very common for this to fail. So if you hear a rattling sound, it might be this little pin because it tends to pop out and it's not supposed to move. Um, I was literally cleaning mine. It was working fine until I was cleaning it off and I heard a little pop and it broke. So I'm going to upgrade slash repair it. Going back to the injector harness. This is the one that plugs in to the diesel valve right here. Then this one goes to, I think this is some kind of, I don't even know what this is to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it plugs into your intake manifold as well. So we've covered this one and this one. Finally, the third one, I needed to buy a new, uh, what is this, an intake, air intake temperature, it's either a temperature sensor, air intake temperature sensor, IAT, or it might be the MAF. Um, I'm not actually sure. Basically your new intake sensor right here. Um, so that covers all four three of the ones on top here. Now, this lot will go to the final section, which has the most wires. One of them is the big one that connects to one, two, and three plugs. One, two, and three. Moving on to this guy, this plugs in to the underside of your intake manifold. Right uh, here. Moving on to the next one. So we covered these two. <laughs> Third one 
plugs in right here behind the uh, oil filter. Next one plugs ne right next to the oil filter right here. So this one and this one that is now covered. Um, this guy, I believe, is the plug for my alternator. MS43 is different in that it's a square plug instead of a round plug on my old alternator. If you have a Bosch alternator, as far as I've read, you can just take out the voltage regulator for to replace the rounded one for a square one. The guy I've already ordered. So, <laughs> and so I believe that covers everything except for the last one. This last one's very easy. It just hooks up, it curls around back to this round plug here. Looks exactly like the plugs that attach to the oxygen sensors that attach to the exhaust. All right, oh, and last one. This one's pretty easy as well. This plugs into the harness instead of the harness plugging into it, which comes all the way back from basically the top of the head here. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I'm definitely gonna be referencing this for the future when I'm actually plugging in all of my stuff. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you know what this plug plugs into because I don't know where that plugs into. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.